Are you looking for permission to be great? Somebody needs to give you permission to walk in your greatness. Is that what you're saying to me, sis? Is that what we speaking about, bruh? Okay, well, listen, if you need permission to be great, well, here it is. Permission. Be great. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, critiquers. My name is Kiki, and welcome to Kiki's Critique. Okay, y'all. So I've been taking notes. I've been learning lessons. I've been in the school of hard knocks life. Uh, who else been in the school of hard knocks life? Okay, we ain't got no college degree, baby. But we got a degree in living this thing called life here, baby. We got a couple little degrees. I mean, we might not be masters yet. But we might have mastered something. Come on. Come on. Who done mastered something? Well, I'm about to talk to you about some things that I have mastered. And the first thing is permission to be great. Because I walk in my greatness. I know who I am from the once in my life. Finally, I am 44 years old. 44. And I'm finally doing something that I want to do. I'm finally doing it my way. My way. It's important to me to make my own rules, to define my, to define myself, because no one should be able to define you. You should be able to walk in who you are, and people should know who you are. Just, uh, say girl again. Just by the way that you move, the things that you do, the way that what you say. Come on. So let's get some permission to be great. Step number one. Know who you are. I understand are. that a lot of us have gone through some things that has caused us to be lost out here. Uh, I'm lost. Baby. As y'all get to know me, you're going to know my story. Sis. Sis. Bruh. Like, it's real in this world. And if you haven't, if you wasn't born with a silver spoon in your mouth, then you've been through some things to, to struggle to make it. That you've had to hustle and bustle. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. In a way that somebody who can, you know, get it a little handed to them a little bit easier may not have experienced. So... I understand that in that we get lost in the shuffle. That's why it's important to have a foundation of spirit, meditation, and oneness with the universe. You have to, whether you just, if you follow the basic universal laws of this land, you'll be good. Treat people right. Do it to others. You have them do it to you. Give and it will be given back to you. Don't be stingy, okay? These are basic principle laws. But if you don't work, you don't eat. You got to plow your own land. I mean, come on. This is basic stuff of survival. So these things is, is, is those natural laws. So you don't have to be so super spiritual in order, in, in order to understand your greatness. Okay? So know who you are. Be around positive thinkers. People who share your perspective, but who also, not just only share your perspective, but also who is living a life that is a, an example of a life that you want to have. There's areas in our lives that we have mastered. So we have to tap into our mastery levels and get around people who have mastered something so that we can grow and come up higher. <laughs> Once you know who you are, learn to feel comfortable being yourself. Now, this gets real tricky, guys. And let me tell you why I say real tricky, guys. Because once you know who you are, the people that know you or knew you when you didn't know who you were, 
They may not all like it. Oh, no, act brand new. And I'm here to testify, baby. They ain't all gonna like when you, when you understand your greatness, when you learn who you are, I mean, that's that one. When you learn step one who you are, they ain't all gonna like it because you gonna start to feel comfortable. Once you start walking in and feeling comfortable with who you are, God is going to start removing people. People are going to be dropping off. You're going to find out about the fake people. You're going to find out about the, the fake supporters. You're going to find out about the people who say they loved you but really didn't. They was trying to control you, but they couldn't control you, baby. They couldn't stop the flow because you still move. Because greater is he that is what in you that is he that's in the world. Because when God got a mandate on your life, says, bruh. When God got a mandate on your life, no devil in hell, no next door neighbor, no best friend, no whatever you want to call yourself can stop that flow. As you know, now that you want to upward movement, baby, when we don't know who we are, everything is stagnant. You can only grow so much. It's just like an engine. There's still a certain core, a certain value and really feeling comfortable in your own skin that you can walk and you can be at the top and be at the bottom and conduct yourself the exact same way and fit in. This person is not intimidated by you and don't feel threatened. This person right here is excited to see you and want to show you all that you need to learn. See, so you, you have to be able, when you authentic, people can't help but to respect that. Okay, so feel comfortable in who you are. That's number two, baby. Because I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the dark. What y'all mean by dark? What you saying, KK? Are you saying take a walk on the dark side? You saying be dark? No. What I'm saying is when we are in dark places, as we continue, as we can continue to move forward in this thing called life, if we get the privilege to wake up tomorrow, tomorrow, as you have been walking, baby, you might fall into a pit. Have you ever fallen into a pit, sis? Have you ever hit a bump, bruh? Yes. Yesterday things was good. I woke up this morning and all hell broke loose. What? Right. So what I'm saying is sometimes all hell can break loose just like that. Sickness can come. Okay. Deficit can come. Stuff can just hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? So when those situations happen... We can't be afraid to be in that dark space because sometimes that's the opportunity we have to shine the brightest. Is when it's so dark and everybody's dark around us and we fall into a pit and everybody Ooh, like zombies. Ooh. This is in places where we're surrounded by darkness. Oh, I know. I've been there, baby. I've been there. Some of us have already just fallen into that pit. It's dark down here. Because I'm watching your video, and I'm trying to hear what you're talking about, KK. I'm trying to hear what you're saying, but I'm in a dark spot right now, baby. I don't believe in nothing. No one, nothing, nobody loyal out here. Everybody grind me, everybody out for themselves. Ain't nobody real. I'm in a dark place, sis. Uh, I'm in a dark place. What you, what you got to say about somebody in a dark place? What I'm saying is check your heart. Check your heart. That's number one. Keep that heart right. No matter what that, that situation look like, no matter how dark it is, check your heart. Check your motives. Are you humble? Stay humble in that situation because you, you you can shine the brightest when you humble. 
When you rising above every moaning, every zombie, every dead beat, every disaster, everything that's coming against you, you keeping that head right, you keeping positive, you applying everything you've learned, because what? Like, come on, stuff going to come, situations going to come, but if we graduate and we keep our mind right, and we're not afraid of the dark, and we're the only light in that, that darkness, and we just keep our our faith and keep our head on God, then we're going to grow. Maybe your darkness is you trying to get your business to grow. I know that feeling. I know every feeling I'm talking about right now, baby. Come on. Because at, some, at one season or another in our lives, we're all going to be challenged. That's how we become great. How can you walk in your greatness if you ain't never been down and had to come back up? So sis, bruh, don't be afraid of the dark. That's where you growing. That's where you finding out who you are. That's how you be an example. That's how you showing people around you that even though your situation looks bleak, even though you don't have two pennies to rub together right now. It, 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 you can't even rub it together. You, you wish you could find a penny in the couch. Come on. You wish you could find some change somewhere outside. You've been outside all day looking for some. Come on. I'm speaking to everybody right now. So you know what? I may be down right now, but I am getting myself together. I'm going to be better tomorrow. I'm making moves. I'm getting my mental together. I'm focused on the things that I need to do for me. I am seeking God. And I know that he's going to work this situation out for my good. I may not understand everything, but all things work together for good. For those who love the Lord and to those called according to his purpose. And I know that God's strength is made perfect in my weakness. I'm going to be all right. Hope, I got hope, baby. Weary may endure for a night, but what joy come in the morning. Say it, baby. Say joy. Okay. What's number four? Can we get a drum roll? Learn. Learn. Learn, learn, from what? Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but every mistake. Learn from every mistake. And what? Not, not just learn from every mistake. But do better. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do better. Be real with yourself when you fouled up, okay? Own your own ish. Do better. And learn from other people's mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from every single mistake that you've seen. And do... Oh, that's me. Get me better, 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 what? And do better. Come on. That's easy. You see somebody trip and fall, baby, then you better. Are you going to trip and fall over the same step? Do better. Step over it. Okay. You see somebody making, acting a fool in public, are you going to act a fool too? Because the same person may have to wait on you. Somebody might be a bad cashier and just having a really lousy day. This person went off on them and then this person giving you some attitude and some, you know, and you like, oh, I see why they came for you. What you going to jump on them? I mean, are you one of those people that jump on people? You bully? I hope that um, you guys just really understand that greatness is not just in some of us, but it is in every single one of us, you know, and no matter what our current situation is, no matter what is going on in our lives, we have the ability 
to continue to walk through it with of who you are. Know who and whose you are. Be confident in your ability to fumble, to stumble, and to fall, and to get back up, to rise, to evolve, okay? And because my goal is to critique myself, and as I am becoming my highest, best version, I hope, I hope and pray that it inspires you to do the same. We can do it. God is no respecter of persons, and I love you guys.